the channel, Run With CT. And before we get started, please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps this channel out a lot. Now, let's get started with the review. New Balance Feel Cell Rebel V4. You're looking at the shoe that I've been so excited about for a really long time, and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it, you know, and also take off running in these, and which I did, and I will be telling you guys about that pretty soon. And I wasn't the only one that was just excited about this shoe. I have a really great friend that lives all the way across the pond that's been loving this shoe just as much as I have, and we've both been anticipating this shoe for a long time. Actually, let me just uh, let him tell you how he likes the shoe in a few short words of his. For me, these shoes uh, have three positives that fit the stack and lightweight. There's no one to me. And the thing is, uh, what got me really excited about the shoe in the first place, it started back for me as far as the V2. I did like the V2 um, quite a bit, but of course, it, it, it still wasn't my favorite. It didn't, it didn't really get um, like exciting for me until the V3 came out, and that's where my love started. I really love this shoe. It, it's, it's just a fast, lightweight, um, low low stack height and it, it was i found it bouncy especially at the hill i mean this it's still still good and, and reliable this shoe's still good the rubber is still there i'm like way i'm like probably like into 100 and almost 160 170 miles on this shoe but at the same time it's it's great i find this shoe great i love using this shoe on the treadmills everything the only only problem i had with this shoe was running on a long distance so the furthest i got was like six miles with the shoe i couldn't go any further because i did feel like that the shoe was bottoming out at the very toe part of the shoe and i was feeling too much impact um there but besides that the shoe was just so much fun to run in it was one of the shoes that just it was my go-to shoes and i know the shoe wasn't for everyone because i saw some people you know didn't like it maybe they felt like the the the, the midsole was dull to them or maybe they felt like they didn't like the design of the shoe all I know, this shoe would work for me, and it was awesome, and I was actually looking to get another pair of this shoe, but then, of course, the V4 came out, and they changed my mind, I only wanted this shoe, and of course, I actually got worried about, like, how this shoe was going to turn out, as I was talking to my friend consistently back and forth, you know, because we saw pictures, and sometimes the pictures don't always do, with, do, do great justice to the design of the shoe. It looked, the stack height was just so much higher, it looked like the shoe was going to gain more weight, and that's what I was telling my friend, I was like, I don't know, man, it may not be better than the v3 but at the same time all that was fixed i was absolutely wrong on that not only is it lighter it's comfortable and i can actually run long distance in this shoe just so much better isn't it on to the specs we go as we get to the upper you have the phantom fit it's it's very breathable i find it very nice i actually like the design of the phantom fit it looks really nice up there um i saw the other colors too so like the little triangle thing i don't know i really like it um, now, as far as it feeling different from the V3, um, it, it doesn't feel that much different. It, it actually feels the same, like it's the same thing. They probably just didn't call it Phantom Fit. I actually don't even know what they called it before. But at the same time, it doesn't feel that bad. I do know that the inside, the inner part of the um, of the upper does feel a little bit different. Now, some people are saying that I that I saw, they were saying that it feels scratchy. I actually don't know because I, I, it doesn't feel like that to me. Maybe it's the socks that I'm wearing, but... It actually feels just, it just feels comfortable to me. It doesn't feel like it's going to do any um, rubbing, um, giving me any blisters, anything like that. You have some padding around the ankle collar too. Not a lot of it, but just enough there to, to, for the shoe to feel comfortable. Now, as you can see here, there is a big difference where the shoe kind of pops up back here on the ankle collar. The little flare, I guess they call it. I like it. I actually like that. I actually really like that more, but that's just me. I'm okay with this too. I don't hate it at all. Now, what I do find interesting is the tongue. It is a gusset tongue, but the weird part about it is it, it seems like it's unfinished. Um, it just seems like an afterthought. Now, that's not a deal breaker, but I kind of wish they did put a little bit more into that. And I would say, too, I don't know if you could probably see it through here. Maybe, I don't know. The toe box is wider, and that's good because, you know, I have, you know, some flat and wide feet, and I've always been happy to have some room in my shoes because the previous gen, the V3s, um, when it got to the, the tip of the shoe, my toes did uh, get to the point to where they were kind of going like that. And um, I, I, I think I would. Did I go a half size up in this shoe? Actually, no, I didn't. That's why. So the thing is, yeah, here, this shoe, you do have some room in here. And I think there's a wide fit version. But I think it's only in one color right now. I could be wrong. I got to check that again. But I'm pretty, I, I thought I saw that. I'm pretty sure I saw that. But besides that, even if you have wide feet, I still think that you're going to fit in here, like in this shoe. Now, if you have very narrow feet, you're going to be tying it up here, kind of like the choke in the top of your, your foot part. But, I mean, is that a deal breaker? You tell me. But at the same time, I 
I love it. I, I like the the upper. It's it's nice, and I think I'll get the job done. And I'm gonna, I think it's going to be just as durable as the last one, because you can see this is kind of beat up. The only thing that changed was the color, um, you know, kind of start fading, but that's fine. And so we move on. And then we got the midsole. Now, when it comes to the midsole, you got a people blended EVA uh, fuel cell midsole, and it's bouncier. I'm loving it. And plus, I'm a big fan of the people. There's more people in it, the more I'm going to love it. And you can see also the base, it's gotten wider too, so that's really good when it comes to stability. You're not going to twist your ankle at all in these shoes unless you really get to a rock at the tip of it and you go, and that's it, your ankle's done. But I doubt anyone's going to get to that point unless you just put yourself in that position. But I love the design. The design is really cool. I really hope uh, New Balance keep up with these like newer designs. It's going across the whole entire family of the shoe. It really leaves a mark of the family resemblance. It's just, you look at the shoe and be like, ah, that's New Balance. I know it. Nothing looks like it. I think it looks great. Keep it up in the balance. As far as it goes for the outsole, it's got about 55% of coverage. And, and you, you can see there's there's a bit more of the foam being exposed versus the previous model. You got a, a yeah, I think you have a lot more rubber in here. Um, you have about one, two, three, four, about five strips of rubber on here. And the thing is, they got grip to it. I have no problem with the shoe. There's a lot of grip um, when it comes to this shoe. I can turn the corners, stop. And I have no problem at all when it comes to having any grip with this shoe. And this is the same thing with this shoe. Um, it, it was great too. And actually the foam and the grip on here is taking a long time to even wear down in the first place. So I do feel like the reliability on this one though might be a little less than this. I could just feel it, um, to be honest. Um, and I can already kind of see it because I'm, I'm at about uh, 30 miles on this shoe too. So uh it it's not a really bad thing but i guess it also comes down to like how rough you are in your shoes because some shoes are more rough than others so i guess that depends on the person you got the weight when it comes to the weight of the shoe in my size 10 7.7 .7 ounces and 210 grams that is light and what's crazy is yeah you can feel the difference i can feel the shoe being a little heavier and if you look at the shoe you would think this is heavier because it looks a little bigger and it kind of is a little bigger especially with that stack height and this is lighter stack height 30 millimeters in the heel 24 millimeters in the forefoot and a six millimeter drop and what's my experience like in the rebel v4 and did it meet my expectations and the short answer is yes it met all my expectations this shoe was so much fun to run in i just kept grabbing it i just wanted to put more miles in it i didn't get enough miles in it yet but i will get more and pretty soon i'll be at over 100 miles in this shoe in no time and it's a great shoe when it comes to your tempo days if you want to just Go outside and run and just not really think about like what you want to do. Just get out there and just start running. If you want, you just pick up the pace, lower the pace, have a recovery run day. Because the shoe is comfortable for like all those cases. And then when you want to go to the gym, like I was saying earlier in the video, this is one of my favorite shoes now to run on the treadmill. And I mean, this shoe, the, the Rebel V3 already had that spot and it kind of just took that spot because, you know, it doesn't make me sound like a T-Rex running on the treadmill. It's super loud. It's low. And it's, it just allows me to go quick and keep that pace up um, for a really long time in this shoe. For most surfaces, for me, in with my experience, uh, I had grip no matter where I went. I have some damp areas on where I live. I have sand, different types of cement. I have like that parking garage cement, you know what I'm talking about, where it's kind of, it just seems slippery. Um, and at the same time, every one of those scenarios, I had grip. Whenever I was turning corners in those, I didn't feel like I, I was going to slip or fall. And, you know, it's just, I just kept going with shoes. A lot of shoes don't really um, give me that confidence in some of those type of surfaces. In this shoe, in all of them, I was doing just fine. The only thing I probably won't do in this shoe is doing any trail running with the shoe. Because they're not made for it in the first place. But there are some shoes that I take that are running shoes that I will take on the trail. But this one for sure I won't because I know I would destroy that foam. There's too much exposed foam, especially on the back of this shoe. I, yeah, I would destroy it. Maybe some rocks would tear it up. If there's a drawback to this shoe um, that I would have a problem with. Uh, it's weird because it's the same thing I had in pretty much all the Rebel versions. And that is trying to run in longer distance when it came to like these versions and the one before, I had a problem with the very front of the shoe. So when I'm running, everything is fine if I'm doing heel striking, if I'm doing midfoot striking, but if, I'm decide, if I decide I'm doing um, forefoot striking, over time I start to hear, feel, not here, <laughs> I start to feel more impact to the toes. When I did run long distance in the shoe, I did start to feel that um, a little bit more impact to the toes after a long, you know, uh, after a long time. And it wasn't as bad as the V3, of course, but I did still feel it. Now, I'm thinking for me, uh, as far as like 
when I mentioned you can run longer distance in the shoe, I feel like you can do a half marathon with this shoe. I don't. For me, I don't think I would do a full marathon in this shoe. And when it comes to durability, I do feel like the V3 is a bit. It's going to be still more durable. Um, and I just feel like this foam, after a while, it, it's not going to feel the same once you hit like maybe 150 miles, maybe 200 miles. It just it, it does feel like once you start getting to the high mileage, it's just going to flatten out and kind of just stay that way. And I don't feel like that's a deal breaker either. But at the same time, like I was saying, still other people are different. They may have a different experience. Maybe they feel like the shoe can last past 300 miles. We will see. This is definitely one of my favorite daily trainers. And it's on all the way up there, close to the top of the list for my favorite, you know, Temple Day daily trainer shoes for 24. I just want to keep putting miles on the shoe, even going walking in the shoe. The shoe feels great. I, I did a few times um, just work in the shoe all day, just walk around and do it in, in it. And it felt great. The shoe felt great just to walk around in most of the day. I loved it. And then, of course, I want to get the other colors because now that this shoe feels great to walk around today, of course, I want to get the other colors like, you know, maybe an all black one and an all white one and just get the bright color ones for running. I'll make a video after 100 miles to, to see um, first for myself if I think I hit the mic, if the if, if this shoe still holds up after that and tell you how it is. Also, thanks to my fan Fabian, uh, just uh, being a really awesome friend and we're us being nerds about going back and forth with the Rebel v V4. We couldn't be any more excited about this shoe and of course being a part of this uh, video. And uh, you can find them of course on Instagram and you can also find me on there on Instagram Strava uh, threads. And yeah, that's it. it. It Also like guys, tell me if you like the shoe, if you don't like the shoe, um, or did you even get the shoe yet? Do you plan to get the shoe? Maybe I'm asking too many questions. But anyways, hopefully I'll see it all down there in the comments. Until then, see you guys soon.